Hi, I'm Lori Parker with Keller Williams Advantage Realty. I want to show you a video about getting organized. Here's Kim with her all-inspiring organizing solutions so you can get into the zone of a clutter-free life. Oh, by the way, if you know of anyone that wants to buy or sell real estate, please give me a call with their name and number and I'd be happy to help. Here's Kim. So I always kind of like to start out with something kind of funny because I do feel like I'm like a, a psychiatrist or a psychologist at wherever I go and work with people. So I found this was pretty funny. My job as a professional organizer is part strategist, part motivator, and part psychologist, which <laughs> it really is. I mean, when you're getting into people's lives, it's not just about their stuff. It's actually about their life because usually there's a, usually like an underlying issue going on that's causing them to have clutter. And that's where I come in and figure out, well, what's going on in your life? You know, maybe something's happened. And so we try to figure out what's causing them to have just stuff, you know, just stuff everywhere. Okay, so just a little bit about me. I told you earlier that um, I'm a newly grandmother. <laughs> and he's like the best part of my life. He's now a year. And of course, it's taken, he was probably about five months or six months when this picture was taken, but he's a joy of my life. Um, never thought being a grandparent could be so wonderful, but as far as me, as far as my job, um, I've always just had a knack for organizing. It's just been my thing as a kid, just like everything just had to be kind of like perfect, like OCD kind of thing, you know, all your little knickknacks sorted and your clothes. Well, I was a teacher for probably about 10 years. Teaching just really, I hate to say it wasn't my thing, but I love organizing my room. I love like coming in and like getting everything ready and like the beginning of the year, getting your room all organized and because I love decorating as well. So I love that part about it and doing all the papers and keeping everything all filing systems and things. So I knew I loved that, but I'd gone through a divorce and I had to, I had to do something, right? So teaching came easy. So I taught. But then I met a professional organizer and I was like, oh, you mean you like actually make a living doing this? And so after, you know, a couple of years, I got to a position where I could actually start my business. So I've been doing this for about almost seven years now and it's truly my passion. So how many of y'all are actually like drowning in clutter? I mean, you just walk into your house, do any of y'all just really have just stuff that's just like you don't even want to walk into your closet, don't even want to walk into your kitchen, or there's probably one area, or maybe it's your whole house. I mean, I do a lot of that where it's just the entire house is just a total disaster. So there's, there's just so many different, like I said, there's so many underlying reasons why people just have problems. I mean, it could be health issues, marriage, divorce. It could be a death. It could be just, you know, a new job. It could be, it just, you know, papers everywhere, clutter. Um, there's ongoing numerous reasons why people just have stuff. And they don't realize that it's, it's really impacting their life and impacting their health too because they get up and they just, they're having anxiety about it every single day. Um, so some of the things that I do, basically entire houses, it could be your pantries, your kitchens, your closets, I've helped, I've done um, storage units. In fact, I'm associated with Montgomery Self Storage. I did some videos for them and um, kind of like some ads. And, um, and it was funny because I actually have a storage unit with them and I, they didn't even know it. <laughs> they, they're like calling me up and they're like, you know, we would really like for you to like be part of our, our video presentations on our website. And I'm like, well, that's really interesting because you know what? I have a storage unit with you guys. <laughs> and they're like, a professional organizer has a storage unit. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I even have stuff in a storage unit. So, um, but so yeah. So and I've done, I've done barns. Um, I've done anything you can imagine in these organizing. I've done it. Okay, so I'm going to show you some before and after pictures that of some things that I've done. Um, closets are probably one of the number one things that I do a whole lot of. Um, this is really closet transformation. I mean, <laughs> and it's really, I mean, I tell people just leave it as it is because they want to like, it's kind of not, you know, when you have a maid and it's like, oh, you want to pick up after four the maid gets there. <clears throat> I'm like, don't do it. Just leave it as it is because I need to see how it is. Um, 
So this seriously was just all, I mean, she had literally piles and piles and piles of stuff on her floor. Um, you name it, just, 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 just everywhere. She was one, she's one of those ladies that she loves shoes. I mean, shoes, jewelry, clothing, she loves all of it. So she's like, well, can you just come to my house and just do it? Cause I'm not even going to be there. I'm like, well, here's the deal. I can do it, but where I need your help is I need for you to purge. I mean, I need to help you purge. She's like, that's my problem. I can't purge. So what I did was, so really what helps with people is I'll go in and sort everything out. I'll get all their, all their like shirts together of like, all their jewelry, everything together so they can see it. Because if you can't see, they just can't see what they have. And it makes it so much easier for them to purge, you know, with the whole process because otherwise they're just, they just don't even start. They don't know how to start. Um, papers is also something that I actually love doing. Um, somebody was asking me earlier about papers. When I first started this business, papers was not on my radar. I mean, doing offices wasn't really, I mean, I didn't really think I would really like doing it. But so many people needed it. I mean, I did, well, like with Keller Williams, I did a, um, a little presentation for Keller Williams. And then the office manager's like, I really need you to come into our office and like, I need you to help him, 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 all these different people. So I really started loving the whole aspect of offices and working with paper. So I have a funny story. I don't know if you've heard this story with Keller Williams. So, so the office manager calls me up and he's like, I really want you to help our um, technical guy, the computer guru. His office is right over here, but he's, he's, he's just totally adamant about having you help him. I'm like, give me time, give me time, Earl. I say, give me time, I'll get him, don't worry about it. So I was in the Keller Williams office every day doing work. And um, I go by there, hey Earl, how's it going? You know, and after a while he started warming up to me. And before I know it, I, I just went in there one day, I said, listen, I said, I can make, the, and it's like a little bitty nothing office, but it's piles of computers and monitors and papers everywhere. I was just laughing. And he finally goes, okay, here's the deal. I have a meeting tomorrow. He goes, I'm going to let you come in here and see what you can do. I was like, awesome. So he's gone for hours. And so I'm in there working, doing my thing. And people are coming by and they're just like, oh my gosh, he let you in his office. And I was like, he let me in his office. And I was just transforming the entire office. He comes back and he is just like amazed. People are like walking by, they're like, oh my gosh, we can actually like come and sit down now. <laughs> I mean, it was like, it was just like, those kinds of things is just what makes my day because he was so adamant about, no, hands off, me not even doing anything. So he was totally sold on the whole, the whole organizing thing. Okay, so as far as papers, so here, this is, this is a really cool story here too. So this lady calls me up, she's like, man, I just, she says, I just, I have had papers, like business, they have a business in Conroe, a Mexican food place. She said, I've got papers that I have not even gone through in years. She said, they're just sitting like, they're just like all over my office and I don't even know what to do with it. She goes, I don't even know if there's even a hope. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's hope, <laughs> we can make it work. So she's like, well, my husband, he's just so against me having you come out here. He's like, well, I, you know, I, don't, I don't have to pay somebody to come do that. We can do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been going on for 10 years. Nothing's been going on. So I went out there, and she's like, she's like, how is this going to even, how, how are you going to help me? So basically what she needed help with, she had, she had receipts, y'all, receipts. I mean, okay, so see all these boxes right here? See all these boxes and bags? Mm -hmm. Bags and boxes of receipts, oh invoices, God. just sitting there for years. Wow. And I'm like, got to go through every box. We got to figure out all the dates. We got to get an order. I went through every, because pretty much like these boxes, for the most part, had like, they were like either July, August, you know, whatever the receipts were for that day. Not all of them. A lot of them had. A variety of stuff so I did have to go through every one of them. I went through every bag everything just got a huge table just started sorting everything out this was the main thing and then we put them then I labeled them put them all in a box in here with the year the date all the 
important information on these totes and these banker boxes right here. And then, I don't know, well, I think I have a picture later on too of her entire office. So then she has this entire office of just, I mean, disaster, disaster. I've never seen anything like it. I was like, I was wondering how I was going to do it. But I was like, I can do it. So it was just papers just from who knows when, just sitting around. And so basically what I do is I go through, I collect all the papers, and I categorize all the papers. Let's say I was coming to your house, and I was going to do your, your house, your office. I, categorize, I get a huge table, and I categorize all the papers, like auto, medical, credit cards, you know, all the different categories, and then I get those sorted for you guys to look at. It makes it easier for you to purge. Because if you try to go through every single piece of paper, you're going to be like a basket case. You're not going to be able to do it, especially if you don't have a ton of it. So then once you do that, then we set up a filing system. We have a permanent filing system and an everyday filing system to make your life easier. Everyone's clutter starts going to the mailbox. You go to the mailbox, you get your mail, you hopefully open it. I did have a guy that called me and he said, I haven't opened my mail in a year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally, y'all, had not opened his mail in a year. I think he must have gone through some of the mail to see if there's anything important when he got it. Mm -hmm. For the most part, y'all, it was just sitting on the floor in boxes and bags for an entire year. Mm -hmm. After working with him, I finally said, listen, all these old investments and bank statements, I seriously don't need to be going through this. They just need to be shredded. <laughs> By this time, how many? I mean, it's just like ridiculous, you know? So, um, but yes, I mean, I deal with a lot of that all the time, but people have got to understand that it starts from the mailbox. If you have a system starting from the mailbox to coming in the house and, and setting up a file system, it's just gonna pile up and pile up and pile up, and it's just, it's just gonna continue that way. So y'all, y'all know about Marie Kondo. Okay, okay good. Because she's not my good friend. No, not right. um, so seriously, she so she has all these Netflix videos that came out in January. So um, January is like organizing month. She boomed my business so much because of her Netflix videos. January has been my best month ever. Thanks to her. Because people were just like, man, I really want to do that. They were like really in awe over her process. Well, her big thing is, does it bring you joy? You know, hey, you look at something, hey, if it doesn't bring you joy, out it goes. Well, I don't really say joy. I mean, to me, it's like some things are valuable, have value. They may not bring you joy, but you need to keep them for whatever reason. But her whole thing, what I come to find out is she doesn't really go and do the work. She goes to people's houses and she, she teaches them how to do it. Like she has a lot of those videos. She's going into people's homes and she's giving them tips on how to do. Okay, I want you to do this, I'm gonna come back tomorrow or next week, and you need to do your homework and you need to get it done. I think that's great because you do need to know how to maintain it, you do need to know how to do that, but I guarantee you, most everybody wants you to, they want me to do it. <laughs> they don't wanna do it, they want an organizer to do it. So I thought that was kinda of interesting that she, she actually doesn't do the work, she hires people to work for her, and then they just go and teach people how to how to do it. Um, okay, so there's different things when it comes to organizing. Basically, it's purging and sorting, and finding a home for everything, and then containerizing is big. I don't really push people to go out and buy containers and spend a lot of money on containers. Clear containers are the best thing ever because you can see what's in them, and then labeling is big too. I mean, because if you get you know, people want to go and they get all these cutesy containers. They get, you know, uh, round ones and all these different shapes. And it just, they just don't stack well and it doesn't organize well. They get home and they, they're cute and they think, oh, now what do I do with them? Now they feel obligated to use them because they already spent money on them. And in reality, they just don't work. Um, okay, so this was a, okay, so this was not really a pantry, but she lived in an apartment. So we had to make her cabinets work for like her, her like a pantry, right? So, um, so basically, it was super, super deep shelves. So it's super challenging to work in the cabinets or pantries that have super deep shelves because what happens is everything just gets lost in the back. How can you make that huge space functional? You know, use that space. 
to where things aren't just falling everywhere and it's not out of sight, out of mind. So that's where I know the containers work quite well. I know all the products. I know what works, what doesn't work. I just tell people, just let me go get them because I know what's going to work. So this one had these super deep shelves. So I got like these Lazy Susans, which are the best ever. And then these pull-out kind of drawer things are like, they're not on wheels or anything, but they, they slide in and out. Those work super good. And then they have these other things that also, um, they pull up, pull up little drawers as well. And those elongated bins are clear, and they're like super long, they're like this long. So I know how to like use, utilize that space where you can like slide things out, find what you need, and you're not digging all the way in the back. This, okay, so labeling is like, this is where people make a mistake. You know, they'll have me come out and they want me to organize, but they're like, you know, we don't need to take your time and label. I'm like, yes, you do, because if you say you're going to label, you aren't going to label. You're not going to take the time to label. I just know you're not. So that's one thing I'm very adamant about, is let me label for you, because it's key. If it's, it just, so if you did have labels on this, yeah, you can kind of see what's in there, right? But you still have to like look in there and kind of figure it out. And it's just aggravating. And then what happens is you'll just start throwing stuff in a bin because, oh, well, I'm just going to stick it in here. I really don't know what goes in here. But if you label, then it's easier. Your eye goes exactly where it is, put it in, and it has a home, and you're good to go. Oops. Okay, so this one here was, this was actually a barn I was working on. Well, she called it a barn anyway. It's not a barn what you think about. It's more like kind of like a storage unit kind of thing. So again, you know, we got these shelves here to help with, the thing about the shelves, see, I mean, you can stack things, but it's hard to get things from the bottom. I mean, it just makes it difficult and it's heavy and it's hard on your back. So, you know, getting the shelves really makes a difference on keeping things all separated. Here's another pantry. This was a huge walk-in pantry. This was super nice. And it was nice because they were like narrow shelves, kind of like Leslie's pantry. They <laughs> have the narrow shelves. And they're not deep, things don't fall everywhere. But again, you need to kind of figure out, obviously, it's sorting everything out, put all your canvas together, all your baking, um, dry goods, you know, I try to categorize everything. And so what I did here is I got those three tier can risers and I stacked all the cans on it. These baskets are great, you know, for putting different things on the shelves, having them easy to see, all snacks in one. Um, and a lot of times, I just use just the container stores, just the inexpensive, clear shoe boxes. That's the cheapest thing you can get, and it really works the best most than, more than anything else. And like I said, it's cost efficient. Okay, here's the office I was telling you about, the one that oh has a Mexican gosh. restaurant. Okay, this was just part, this was just a glimpse of part of it. So, I mean, literally, I mean, it was just, just, just stuff everywhere. <laughs> And so, and I kept telling her, you need to, you just work, just work, let me do my thing. And so I just basically, I went through everything, I got all the things together, got all things, not paper related together, but all the things together so she could see what she had, all the office product, all the office supplies, um, and then paper's a separate deal, and I got all the papers together. And so she's sitting at her desk, of course she's always like looking to see, well, how is she going to do this, how is she doing this? You know, and so, and then I would get all my little bins of sort of things. I said, okay, great. Now I come over here, and I want you to look through each one, and you tell me, you know, what you need to keep and what you don't keep. Once she tells me what she needs to keep and don't keep, then I can organize, organize what she's keeping. The things she's not keeping either was like, you know, toss or a lot of things. Donate's big to do a lot of donating for people. Who I'll call people out. Hmm. Who do you donate to? It's whoever really they want, if they have a preference. Um, one uh, company that I really like using because they're really quick about coming out to your house like the next day is the Jesus Center, but you have to live in the Woodlands. But I use, I have a lot of clients in the Woodlands and we use the Jesus Center. And gum is hard because you don't have Purple Heart won't come to your house. Salvation Army won't come to your house. I think uh, something better is there's a couple different companies that will come out, but you've got to plan ahead. I mean, you got to call them a week ahead of time, hey, can you come out and come get my stuff? Which is fine, but you, I mean, you just got to plan a little bit ahead of time. Whereas, like, the Jesus that are they're great, or I can call them a, hey, I got a client, needs stuff picked up ASAP, can you come do it tomorrow? And they'll come right out and do it. 
Um, I'll even donate to the women's shelter. A lot for the women's shelter. Women have clothes and shoes and just stuff they don't need, and so I'll just personally take it to the women's shelter because I know that they can use it. Um, even Angelic Resell and Conroe. So it's just, it's just really, if, if they have a preference, we figure it out. People get bogged down on the whole not doing anything because they're like, I don't know what I'm doing with my stuff. I'm like, we'll figure that out. <laughs> don't worry. I've even had, okay, so I had this one client. He's a friend of mine. I've been on his case for years to get his garage organized. Y'all, his garage, no joke, no joke. Floor to ceiling, three car garage total. <gasps> you couldn't walk in. Oh my gosh. Full. And I said, he's like, I said, how much of the stuff do you need to keep? He goes, probably about a fourth of it. I said, and what are we going to do with the rest? He goes, it just needs to go. I said, like junk, like go. Well, his whole thing was, he's, he's so adamant about putting things in a landfill. I get it. I understand that. No one wants to put stuff in a landfill. But what are you going to do with it? It's not usable. You can't donate it. It has to go. So he finally, after three years, he finally called me up. He goes, I need you to come stay at my house for a week. I said, my wife is going crazy. She wants you to come stay with us. And I'm calling um, a dumpster to be delivered to my house. So he had a dumpster delivered to his house, and we just threw I mean, we threw as much as we could in that dumpster for the entire week, and it was still, he still had stuff in the garage. He still was going to have to have another dumpster come out. It was that much stuff. But literally, I think it saved their marriage. No joke. She was ready to force him. <laughs> um, this is just another closet that I did too, right here, which is your typical typical look. Uh, oh, I also do staging as well. Um, I actually, I actually love staging. Staging is actually my favorite thing to do because it involves it's like organizing and decorating at the same time. It's kind of like I get to do a little both, take your existing things and make it look really good. So that's, that's, I get to use both of my creativity with organizing and then just my interior decorating skills as well. Oh, this garage was another amazing story. So it was a three car garage. They called me up, y'all, it's August. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, it's August, they called me up. We really need you to come help us organize the garage. Husband was like, don't touch my stuff, don't touch my tools, don't do anything with my stuff. Y'all can just do whatever you want. Literally, y'all, they've been in this house 15 years. They had not, they never got a car in the garage. They have boxes and boxes of stuff from their now adult kids that are just sitting in boxes for 15 years, never open, and just needs to go. I went with her. This was a 50 hour job. I helped her open every single box. We called and donate people, I think, five times. We called. Recycle. I mean, everything. We were. We were just. It, the thing is, get it out. I like. We have to get it out. Get it out. Get it out. But it took us 50 hours. And and this after we did it, they were so excited. Her husband. So our husband. So he had this lot of work here. So back here was his little. This was the third garage. Okay. That was like his workshop. He finally said, "You go do whatever you want back there. I don't really care." He goes, "You do whatever you want. Those tools." And he came out there and checked on me every now and then just to see like. How are you doing with my tools? <laughs> um, but it was fun. I actually, I really like doing garages, actually. But in August, he was a little much. Did they paint the it, floor after they were in? Huh? Did they paint the floor? Yes, and then they painted the floor. And you know, she was so excited. Like, she went and got these little things to put For her car in her car. So he put, y'all, it was awesome. She's like, I've never had my car in the garage in my entire life. She was like, thrilled. <laughs> I just love these stories because my whole thing is building relationships with people. All my clients is like, you just, it's just something about it. You just make connections. Like the, the 50 hour car garage, I ended up house sitting for them for three weeks because they trusted me. They just like, you know our whole life now, you know, we need a vacation to stay. So, um, but anyway, so this guy, he calls me up. He's a videographer. He had cancer. He's a young guy. He was like, he was like 30. And um, he was just, it was just sad. He was just like, he was, he was in tears. He's like, I have, you know, I have a business, I have cancer. He goes, my office is just a disaster. I just live in an apartment, I'm newly married. And he goes, I just don't know what, I just don't know what to do. He goes, and I just found you on your website and you know, you, you popped up and I just want to get some information. So after talking with him, I'm like, well, 
I could really use a video. And so after talking with him, we bartered. So what we did was, so I went to his house and he videoed me doing organizing for him and then I got to use all his videos, all the clips from my business. So it just was one of those really cool things that worked out. And, um, and the good news is it's cancer free now. And so his business is doing great. So that was the good news. But it's just, it's just, I just love what I do.